Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to cover how to install a plugin on our WordPress site that is going to add an embedded contact form to our contact page. And here we are on the contact page of our website and as you can see we've definitely provided some information here. Uh, we could even add an email address if we wanted, but what would be better is if we had an inline contact form so that visitors to our site can email us from directly here inside of the contact page, uh, which is easy for your visitor, but also allows you to receive email without actually revealing your email address, which is a concern for some people who don't want to get spam in their inboxes. Thankfully, this is a pretty easy thing to do for WordPress, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dashboard of our site. And here you can see in the left-hand part of the site, under Plugins, we have the option to Add New. Because we don't have this plugin on our site yet, we're going to go ahead and upload it real quickly. So clicking on Add New brings us to the Install Plugins page, and here we can search for the plugin we want. I actually happen to already know the name of this plugin. It's called Contact Form 7. And as you can see, I've typed it in before, so obviously my browser remembers this particular plugin. So once we have that, we can go ahead and search our plugins. And we can see that it's right here at the top. Of course, you can always click on details to find out more information about the plugin. But since we know what we're after, we're just going to go ahead and click on install now. It's going to ask us if we really want to do that. Of course we do. And once the plugin has had a chance to install, we see this page here where we can activate the plugin or return to the plugin installer. We're going to go ahead and activate this plugin. And here you can see it is inside of our plugins library, and it is active, which is why it's not grayed out. And you can see here there's a link for settings, but also you can see that here in left-hand navigation we have a new option called Contact. And actually, this is where the settings for this form resides. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Edit button. And this is going to allow us to edit our contact form. Now, certainly when you first get here, it's going to be a little bit daunting. And what I'm going to say is that for most needs, really, the default settings for this plugin are perfectly adequate. It has an area for someone to add their name, their email, a quick subject line, and also a text input area for their full message. And we're not going to monkey with those settings at all, although you could actually program in other fields if you so desire. But scrolling down, you can see that we have an email address set up. And this email address is actually pulling from the settings that we have for our WordPress site. But we're going to enter a new address called info at fittingsites.com. And that is actually going to make sure that when this form is filled out, the mail from that form is delivered to this particular address. So now that we have that set, we just need to scroll down to the very bottom here. And in the lower right hand corner, there is a save button. Once we click on that, we have saved our settings. Now it's important to realize that when you install the plugin, you still actually have to put a little piece of code into the page itself, which tells the plugin to display a form on that page. And here you can see in this highlighted box here is our code. And all we have to do is just copy this code and then paste it into the page that we want our form to display on. So that's obviously simple enough for us. We're going to go to our actual contact page and because we're logged into the site we're going to click on the edit page it's going to take us directly to it. Of course, we could also click on Pages over here and find it that way. This is a nice direct way to get there. I'm going to go ahead and open up this window a little bit so we can see what's going on a bit better here. And really, as simple as this, all we need to do is, after our last line of text, is do another carriage return and then simply paste in the code. Just as simple as that. And once we've done so, we just need to click on the Update tab to update this page. And let's go ahead and click on View Page to take a look at this actual page itself. So here we are on the contact page of our site, and if we scroll down, we can see that indeed we do have an inline form 
that allows your visitors to quickly and easily send you a message without revealing your email address to spammers. Hope that's helped you out with your website. Thanks for watching and have a great day.